wants him. I, 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 I want him, yeah. and I send message now from you <laughs> to Heyman. Let's do. Gervonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather are now set to take their feud into the ring as Saudi boxing mogul Turkey Alalshik has now confirmed the fight. I set you off because you was like, I gotta do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Uh, he said. While the fight will be an exhibition fight, there'll be knockouts and judges to score the fight. I know he tank. has his big tank on here. Yeah, tank. Please. Tank. Yeah, well, I don't know Man, if he's still on here. I don't know if he's still on yeah, here. It's probably the first time an active boxer will be fighting in an exhibition as Turkey Alalshik is set to make one of the biggest fights in boxing happen soon. He might have bounced. I don't know. He might have bounced. He might have bounced. He was going. Gervonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather have been at loggerheads, and the latter has severally promised his former mentor a knockout should they ever find themselves in the squared circle. He's not going to hurt me. You know what I mean? So it's, it's good to be... And with Turkey Alal Shik always keen on feeding the eyes of boxing fans with the very best fights, he has confirmed a match between retired Floyd Mayweather and Gervonta Davis. With him, then be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. While the match won't be counted as a part of their career wins or losses, the match is set to hold in Saudi Arabia in February 2025. Fight height with me, I'd like Pull him in. Pull him in. Hold I don't on. know. It'll surely come as a surprise to many boxing fans who had wished to see them lock horns in the ring. Floyd Mayweather is regarded as one of the very best boxing legends ever with a 50 and zero record. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Cause it's, I feel like y'all, y'all got, I would say love hate, but it's been like the last interview. Gervonta Davis on the other hand is currently one of the top pound for pound boxers with a 30 and zero record and over 93% knockout ratio. You showed them love this week. It was whatever, but is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big? It's going to be an intense clash of boxing styles as the knockout artist would be facing a defense master who successfully carved his boxing style from Pernell Whitaker's hit and don't get hit style. Big bro, little bro, seeing things different, or what is it? You know, it just it, Floyd don't never he fell. The pair have been at this for a long time now, and they finally have the room to take their feud to the very next level. So I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where I start him. Mm. And I and Gervonta Davis looks more furious going into the fight, as Floyd Mayweather has been pestering him for quite a long time. And I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like when Floyd was 20, uh, 29. He was in fact, the opportunity of fighting Floyd Mayweather is the reason Gervonta Davis is willingly taking the Saudi offer. I, I, I want him yeah. and I send message now from... <laughs> the confirmation of their fight comes after Gervonta Tank Davis had an altercation with Turkey Al Sheikh that led him to deciding that he was never going to fight in Saudi Arabia. Al Al Sheikh, the chairman of the General Entertainment Authority in the oil producing country, once said in an interview that he hopes Gervonta Davis the power puncher from Baltimore, Maryland, will fight in Saudi Arabia sometime in 2024. <laughs> to Heyman, let's do it. Alal Sheikh hoped to stage Devin Haney versus Gervonta Davis and treat boxing fans who dig a display of mouth-watering skills. But Haney, I want to see you in my country, and I send a message from you now to him. I will try to do it in 2024. And Davis, of course, we want him in our country, Turkey Alal Sheikh had said. However, Gervonta Davis, who defeated Frank Martin with an eighth round knockout at the MGM Grand next month, ended up demanding two Ferraris to agree to Alal Sheikh's proposal. When an annoyed Davis got wind of Alal Sheikh's comment, he fancied that he would need at least two Ferraris or something to that effect to even begin thinking about fighting in the Middle East. They made me mad. If they want me, they got to send me something to my front door, like two Ferraris or something, Davis wrote on his ex account. David, he said to me, send to me two Ferraris. Alal Sheikh did not seem to take too kindly to those words. In response, Alal Sheikh offered a curt reply to Davis during a recent interview with the MMA Hour, making it clear there won't be any added incentives anymore. Turkey Alal Sheikh apparently has no desire to start begging the biggest American boxing star to come over to Saudi Arabia. Ferrari to play in Saudi Arabia. I said to him, we will send you. At this, His Excellency, who has his way with words too, in an excellent reply, announced that he would rather gladly send Davis two gloves if the latter were at all serious about facing Haney and proving a point. You two gloves if you want to play in Saudi Arabia. That's it. 
I heard in the media, Davis said, send to me two Ferraris to play in Saudi Arabia, Alal Sheikh said. I said to him, we will send you two gloves if you want to play in Saudi Arabia. That's it. Now, in view of Alal Sheikh's comment, Gervonta Davis elaborated on why he demanded two cars by Ferrari. Turk Alex Sheikh is looking to buy up a majority of all this, of, of the of the promotion. You know why I said that? Because he was already talking like he was backing Devin. Like Devin's my guy. All right, cool. Y'all want me to fight over there? Send me something first, Gervonta Davis said on the Cigar Talk podcast. companies and kind of create his own league. What do you think about that? Say it again, I'm okay. You know why fighters go over there? Because they can't sell here. I can sell here, so I ain't gotta go over there. What they're making over there, I'm making here already. Davis added with a very calm demeanor and Davis and Mayweather have had a complicated relationship over the years, leading to a split after the boxing legend mentored and promoted him from the beginning of his pro career. Tank Davis. The spat between Gervonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather was recently renewed when Davis accused the boxing legend of criticizing him and as a result, implicated him in a money-related dispute, purportedly leaving Mayweather stranded in Dubai. The controversy then unfolded on social media platforms. Guys in D.C., Baltimore, Philly, New York, all around. He won a few fights. I think he was like eight or nine and all. I told him. And I Video shared on Friday morning, Mayweather's remarks, though not directly addressing Davis, were interpreted by the latter as aimed at him. Mayweather emphasized the sacrifices he made during his career, implying that some fighters are focused on the wrong aspects of fame and fortune. I made so many sacrifices. Y'all looking at the end. Y'all looking at the end results. Perceiving Mayweather's comments as a personal attack, Davis retaliated on Instagram, alleging that Mayweather is unable to leave Dubai due to financial disputes with undisclosed parties. Davis's fiery response included a direct accusation, labeling Mayweather a hater and insinuating financial mismanagement. Y'all not looking at this shit where y'all go look at the interview and Zab gonna tell y'all, you know, with me being champion with Davis, a rising star in boxing, took to Instagram and Twitter to air his grievances against Mayweather. The online feud escalated further when a Twitter user suggested Mayweather might be held hostage in Dubai, prompting Davis to assert that Mayweather owes money to individuals and is consequently unable to leave the country. The allegations made by Davis hinted at underlying financial tensions between the two boxing figures, adding a layer of intrigue to their already contentious relationship fueling the fire of fury in him after continuing his trend of naughtiness even after Gervonta Davis's most recent fight. Session between Davis and Devin Haney to his Instagram account. The video lasts 18 minutes and in it, you can see the boxers exchanging blows with protective equipment while Mayweather clearly coaches Haney. The video does not have much that is extraordinary. What has caused suspicion in the boxing environment is the moment that Mayweather chose to release it. On Saturday night, Tank scored another victory, beating Frank Martin by a resounding knockout in the eighth round. The fight marked the debut of streaming giant Amazon Prime in boxing shows. The win solidifies Davis's position as one of the pound-for-pound -pound best of the moment, granting him leverage in negotiations for a rematch with Ryan Garcia or a fight against Vasily Lomachenko. Some think that the video was a petty attempt by Mayweather to tarnish Davis's victory somehow. Although if that had been the end, the boxer turned promoter made a mistake, as in the footage, you can see an out of shape tank holding up without a problem against a Haney who was in fighting shape. Others think that it was a way to cause excitement due to the recent arrival of Richard Schaefer to Mayweather Promotions. The former CEO of Golden Boy Promotions recently joined the Money Promotions team. 
The former champion's company has had trouble recruiting talent in recent years. Mayweather was a brilliant strategist and one of the fighters with the highest boxing IQ in the world. However, that same intelligence did not translate to his business or personal life. And this new video is another example of the stumbles that the former champion has taken. There was a time when Gervonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather Jr. were good friends. When Tank Davis's career was beginning, Money Mayweather took him under his tutelage. However, as the years went by, that friendship became a bitter rivalry that just experienced its most recent chapter. Mayweather met Davis in 2015, and almost immediately, the former champion could see the young boxer's potential and gave him a contract with his company, Mayweather Promotions. The relationship lasted about seven years and brought large profits to both parties. However, the relationship ended in 2022 amid serious accusations from Tank Davis against Mayweather Promotions. In a video he uploaded to his social media, the featherweight champion warned other boxers not to sign with the company at the risk of seeing their career seriously damaged. It was even more saddening to know that the beef with Gervonta Davis drove Floyd Mayweather so crazy to the point of him helping out Davis's opponent so he could beat Davis. After Gervonta Davis knocked out Frank Martin in brutal fashion in June, he was interviewed after the fight and the boxing superstar trolled Floyd Mayweather for trying to give his opponent tips on how to beat him. He was giving Frank tips and stuff like that, but I know for sure that wasn't going to be enough to beat me. It's cool. It's alright, I don't really think too much of it. He's not going to hurt me, you know what I mean? It's better to beef with him than to be cool with him. Really? How, how do you know that? Just, 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 just word of mouth? I've seen, I seen his people's uh, drop by while I was... You know he, Floyd Mayweather, was the one who told Frank that I was running at 5 o'clock? Gervonta Davis? And it was also within this period that Floyd Mayweather sacked Leonard Ellerby a matter which Gervonta Davis was forced to comment on. He said in a tweet before deleting that Floyd Mayweather Jr. was never one interested in anyone's progress, rather he wants everything to be about him. He claimed Floyd Mayweather wanted everyone's greatness to be linked to him, so he gets the praises for being the one behind their greatness. During his press conference with Frank Martin, when the news first broke, he was seen telling Errol Spence how much he hated Floyd Mayweather. He said, I hate Floyd, I hate Floyd. In a now deleted tweet, Gervonta Davis said, Floyd wants everything linked to him. He's a bad person, cares about no one but himself, the worst man on any team. Everyone, get you Leonard. You should be you know, people threw, threw me on, uh, in the mud for, you know, so I worked on all that tight. That was what would it mean to you to win, get this win? While Tank Davis's beef with Floyd Mayweather must have played a part in his response this time. It is unfortunate that Davis and his boxing mentor, Money, are no longer on good terms, given his pivotal role in his rise to world lightweight champion. Their feud came into the public eye in April 2023, after Davis accused Mayweather of stopping him training in his gym before he beat Ryan Garcia. The pair were seen celebrating together in the ring following the epic performance against King Rai, but it appears the pleasantries haven't lasted long. Mayweather and Davis now carry a strained relationship since Tank split from the Mayweather Promotions banner, where he was guided to first become world champion in 2017. Their working association deteriorated in 2022 as Davis elected to part ways with the promotional company and work solely with his advisor Al Heyman. Rumors of a fresh feud began before his victory over Ryan Garcia in April 2023, where he accused Mayweather of not letting him train in his gym. But the pair initially squashed their supposed beef and celebrated together when he picked up his stoppage win. Although it now appears pleasantries are now back to a minimum, with Davis taking regular shots at his former mentor. Davis has taken aim at Mayweather once more, insisting his new fight deal has earned him more than the legend's $200 million deal with Showtime in 2013. He said to Cigar Talk, I'm at the point where I passed him and I'm doing it at a young age. When Floyd Mayweather was 29, he wasn't doing it like me, you'll see, he added. That six to seven fight deal that I was talking about, that's bigger than Mayweather's six fight deal that Floyd had with Showtime in 2013 and I'm just releasing it here. 
And while we expect a Gervonta Davis versus Floyd Mayweather fight next year, it's worth remembering that Mayweather has contested in a number of exhibition bouts since his retirement to keep himself active and fresh for such a time as this. The last time he fought a young combat sport fighter in his prime was in 2018, and it ended in a mess for his opponent. In 2018, he stopped Japanese kickboxer Tenshin Nasukawa, while Floyd Mayweather Jr. arrived several hours late on the night, his in-ring timing was fantastic. Boxing's biggest star knocked down Japanese kickboxing sensation Tenshin Nasukawa three times before their scheduled three-round boxing exhibition was stopped in the first round by American referee Kenny Bayless in Saitama, Japan. The 41-year-old Mayweather, well aware how badly his aggressive adversary wanted to knock him out, wasted no time in flooring the overmatched Nasukawa with a lunging left hook just one minute and eight seconds into the bout. The 20-year-old Nasukawa was buzzed badly, but he beat Bayless's count. Nasukawa tried to fire back at Mayweather, who covered up, took Nasukawa's punches on his gloves, and dropped his smaller, younger opponent for the second time with a right hook at the 115 mark of the first round. Nasukawa's head snapped back violently and he fell flat on his back, and then Nasukawa still managed to get up again. Mayweather, more aggressive than usual, pounced on his vulnerable opponent. The undefeated five-division champion caught Nasukawa with a right hand to the top of his head that sent a stumbling Nasukawa to the canvas for the third time. Once Nasukawa hit the canvas that third time, with 48 seconds to go in the first round, his trainer threw in the towel and entered the ring. Bayless then waved an end to the exhibition. Judges weren't assigned to score this spectacle at Saitama Super Arena, thus it would have been ruled a draw if it lasted all three rounds. The bout doesn't count on Mayweather's unblemished boxing record of 50 wins and zero losses in 50 fights, including 27 knockouts. Before the exhibition, Mayweather hasn't fought since he stopped UFC superstar Conor McGregor in the 10th round of their scheduled 12-round 154-pound boxing match 16 months ago at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Nasukawa never had strictly boxed before their meeting, as he has achieved stardom in his homeland as a kickboxer and a mixed martial artist. He has gone 27-0, including 20 knockouts, as a featherweight kickboxer and 4-0 in MMA matches, with two knockouts and one submission. Mayweather's demolition of Nasukawa barely took two minutes. The main event of a 13-bout card on New Year's Eve was delayed several hours due to Mayweather's late arrival to the arena and began more than eight hours following the opening bell for the first fight. Nasukawa and promoter Risen, Fighting Federation had hoped to become better, broader brands by beating the aged Mayweather. Luring Mayweather to Japan, even for an exhibition, made the event successful, but Mayweather's demolition of Nasukawa won't be good for the young fighter's reputation. Mayweather claimed through his Instagram account prior to arriving at Saitama Arena that he would be paid $9 million for facing Nasukawa. Previous published reports stated Mayweather would make much more than that. $88 million, according to one Japanese outlet, for this Trans-Pacific trip, Leonard Ellerby, CEO of Mayweather Promotions, repeatedly stated before the exhibition that Mayweather would earn eight figures for his participation in this event. Other than that, the exhibition received little publicity in the United States, perhaps by design. Not only is Nasukawa extremely inexperienced in boxing, he was much smaller than the 5 feet 8 Mayweather. Nasukawa typically fights at featherweight 126 pounds in kickboxing. Their exhibition was contested at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds. Mayweather's size and strength advantages were obvious immediately against an over-anxious opponent who wasn't accustomed to taking punches from someone so much bigger than him. While Mayweather may truly be bigger than Gervonta Davis, he won't have it so easily against the world champion who believes his punch power translates to a middleweight boxer. While many predictions can be made, the fight will most likely go in the favor of the younger and fresher Gervonta Davis, as Floyd Mayweather might not be able to find his perfect rhythm after so many years out of the ring. And that's all for now. For the very best updates on news, moments, events, and actions in the world of boxing, stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to turn on notifications to get notified 